Come now all you faithful, look upon the cross. For our Savior died there to save all the lost. Mary stands there weeping, heart so pierced with sorrow, shedding tears so bitter. Mourning her son, Mary stands there weeping, heart so pierced with sorrow, shedding tears so bitter. Mourning her son, on that holy evening, Jesus prayed for. Knowing that the morrow would bring him the cross. Judas would betray him for the coins of silver and be lost forever. Lost forever. Judas would betray him for the coins of silver and be lost forever, lost forever. All that he would suffer was to ransom us for the price of our fall was to be the cross. Now we must remember only Christ could save us. No one else could suffer all that he would. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. In peace let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace from high and for the salvation of our souls let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy church and for all who enter it with faith, reverence and fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy father Francis Pope of Rome, for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God-loving Bishop Kurt, for the venerable Presbyterate, the Deaconate in Christ, and all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our government and for all in the service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city, for every city community, and for the faithful living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For fair rule of weather, for an abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, for the sick, the suffering, the captive, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the servant of God, Teresa, and for her blessed memory, and that her every transgression voluntary and involuntary be forgiven, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That she may stand uncondemned before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ, and that her soul be committed to the place of light and life where all the saints in just repose. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and the Ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 
Lord, our God, mighty beyond description, glorious above all understanding, merciful without limits, loving us all beyond expression, look with compassion on us and on this holy church, O Master, and show us and those who pray with us the riches of your tender mercy. For to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, is due all glory, honor, and worship now and ever and forever. Amen. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Sing praise to his name, give to him glorious praise. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Forever, Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O Savior, save us. Be gracious to us, O God, and bless us. Let your face shine upon us and have mercy on us. O Son of God, Risen from, from the, the dead, dead. Save, save us who sing to you. To you. Alleluia. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to and the, the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, who being immortal, deigned for our salvation to become incarnate of the Holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, and became man without change. You were also crucified, O Christ our God, and by death have trampled death, being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. O Son of God, risen from the dead, save us who sing to you. Alleluia. Wisdom, be attentive. Come, let us worship and bow before, before Christ. Christ. O Son of God, God, risen from the dead, Holy save God. us who sing to you. Alleluia. From on high, O merciful one, you accepted burial for three days to free us from our passions. O Lord, for resurrection and our life, glory to you. O Venerable John, we have found your godly deed to be a divine leader leading us to heaven. For you were a model of virtue. Therefore, beg Christ our God to save our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, 
now and ever and forever. Amen. John, our teacher and father, the Lord has raised you to the heights of self-control to be a true guiding star, enlightening the ends of the earth. For you are holy, our God, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, <coughs> now and ever and forever. Amen. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us, holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, here now and ever and forever, amen. Holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Let us be attentive, peace be to all wisdom, be attentive. Make vows to the Lord your God, to the Lord your God, and fulfill them, and fulfill them. God is known in Judah, in Israel his name is great. Make vows to the Lord your God, to the Lord your God and fulfill them, and fulfill them. Wisdom. A reading from the epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made his promise to Abraham, he swore by himself, having no one greater to swear by, and said, I will indeed bless you and multiply you. And so after patient waiting, Abraham obtained what God had promised. Men swear by someone greater than themselves. An oath gives firmness to a promise and puts an end to all argument. God, wishing to give heirs to his promise, even clearer, clearer evidence that his purpose would not change, guaranteed it by oath, so that by two things that are unchangeable, in which he could not lie, we who have taken refuge in him might be strongly encouraged to seize the hope which is placed before us. Like a sure and firm anchor, the hope extends beyond the veil through which Jesus our forerunner has entered on our behalf, being made high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. Brethren, live as children of light. Light produces every kind of goodness and justice and truth. Be correct in your judgment of what pleases the Lord. Take no part in vain deeds done in darkness, rather condemn them. It is shameful even to mention the things these people do in secret. But when such deeds are condemned, they are seen in the light of day. And all that then appears is light. That is why we read, Awake, O sleeper, arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. 
Keep careful watch over your conduct. Do not act like fools, but like thoughtful men. Make the most of the present opportunity, for these are evil days. Do not continue in ignorance, but try to discern the will of the Lord. Avoid getting drunk on wine, that leads to debauchery. Be filled with the Spirit, addressing one another in psalms and hymns and inspired songs. Sing praise to the Lord with all your heart. Peace be to you, <clears throat> Wisdom be tender. Alleluia. 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 Come, let us sing joyfully to the Lord. Let us acclaim God our Savior. Alleluia. Alleluia. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving, and let us joyfully sing psalms to him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Planted in the house of the Lord, he will flourish in the courts of our God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Wisdom, let us stand and listen to the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you. At that time, a man approached Jesus and said, Teacher, I have brought my son to you because he is possessed by a mute spirit. Whenever it sees him, it throws him down. He foams at the mouth and grinds his teeth and becomes rigid. Just now, I asked your disciples to expel the spirit but they were unable to do so. Jesus replied by saying to the crowd, What an unbelieving lot you are! How long must I remain with you? How long can I endure you? Bring the boy to me. When they did so, the Spirit caught sight of Jesus and immediately throw the boy into the convulsions. As he fell to the ground, he began to roll around and foam at the mouth. Then Jesus questioned the father, How long has this been happening to him? From childhood, the father replied, Often it throws him into fire, and into the water. You would think it would kill him. If out of the kindness of your heart you can do anything to help us, please do. Jesus said, if you can, everything is possible to a man who trusts. The boy's father immediately exclaimed, I do believe, help my lack of trust. Jesus, on seeing a crowd rapidly gathering, reprimanded the unclean spirit by saying to him, Mute and death spirit, I command you, get out of him and never enter him again. 
shouting and throwing the boy into convulsions. It came out of him. The boy became like a corpse, which caused many to say, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and helped him to his feet. When Jesus arrived at the house, his disciples began to ask him privately, Why is it war that we could not expel it? He told them, This kind you can dry out only by prayer. They left that district and began a journey to, through Galilee. But Jesus did not want anyone to know about it. He was teaching his disciples in this way. The Son of Man is going to be delivered into the hands of men who will put him to death. Three days after his death, he will rise. Glory to you. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Slava Jesus Christ. Slava na veki. Good morning, dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, Father. This story of the Gospel reading is very familiar to all of us, especially parents who love their children, worry about them, and worry about their future. Every father and mother Every educator sometimes feels that there, there comes a moment in the life of their children when the influence of parents on children begins to decrease, especially when they grow up, become teenagers. It happens that the authority of the father and mother begins to waver. But more than that, when the father or mother begins to see that the child falls under bad influence and the authority to guide them to a good path is a failure, then great anxiety arises for the future of this child. So often today, young people fall into the trap of various evils, which is modern culture can even buy anonymous evil, can be, can be anon even anonymous evil. At the first glance, it's like nothing serious, but just at the first glance. This evil influence can so capture the child's imagination and inner world that it is difficult to get rid of it. Apostle Mark says that this son from today's gospel was thrown by an unclean spirit into both fire and water. How often one who is under the influence of evil rushes to extremes. It seems to a young person that some organizations or some ideas can be successful, can bring human glory, a sense of one's own power and very often we, we say about such people that they are in search of themselves. This evangelical father began to understand that finding a good teacher or finding a good guide for his son, and nowadays we can say that finding a good school, good college, good kindergarten, it is not enough to save a child. 
he appealed to the, to the apostles, but they could do nothing. The father begins to understand that some pedagogical technology is not enough to save his son's soul. And also I can say that the good school or, or good college or kindergarten, it's not enough to save our children. Needs someone who has the power to banish evil from our own life and then from our children's life as well. That is why this father, he comes to Jesus, to the one who is the source of goodness, who has the source of the Holy Spirit within himself, the source of good in God the Father, the Son is better of that source, and the Holy Spirit is the all-conquering force of good. And we heard that at the end of this conversation with Jesus, the Father says, I believe, I do believe, but help my unbelief. It is interesting that the conversation about saving the Son ends with the Father's request for faith. After all, faith is nothing but the union of a person with the source of goodness and even more with God. Today in the apostol uh, apostolic reading of the fourth Sunday of Great Land, we hear that faith in God is the anchor of our soul. Faith unites a person with the source of goodness and gives the opportunity to build, to build real, unbreakable spiritual foundations of one's life. The healing of today's, today's young man is a call to each of us to stand before the eyes of our Savior and utter the same words that this evangelical father said to Christ once again, I can replay, Lord, I believe in you, but help my unbelief. We are now experiencing the time of the great land. In other words, words we, uh, the great land uh, can be called a time of recovery. The first of all, spiritual recovery. I think that each of you who has visited a doctor at least once has uh, heard the question, what are you complaining about? This is the first and main question for a patient. If our Lord, standing in the temple, in the church, asked the same thing, the same question, what would we say to him? I think that we, were, we would complain about others. We can complain about others a lot, as usually, about some evil and that someone has done to us, about someone who has not done something to us, about everything in the world. We can complain a lot every time, every day, because we are human beings. It is our nature. And in effect, when the doctor asks his question, he doesn't want to hear our answer about the whole world. He looks at the state of our health. He would like to know what bothering you now, day before, couple days ago, the last week, last months, and not about your neighbors, about your even not about your kids, 
We're not about your relatives, your couple, your wife or husband. He would like to know about your, as I said, state of our health, about your health. During the land, we should identify our own faults, defects and spiritual diseases, and complain about them. If you deeply analyze all our spiritual ailments and sins, you can reduce them to one common denominator, little faith in God. We seem to be believers. We remember about God from time to time, especially when we have some difficulties in our life, and especially when we have some problems. We remember about God, and we remember about prayer. We, we know where is our church. We know the address. And then we, we pray a lot. But when we need to build a deep foundations of the foundations of our life to look for why the waves of life thrown us to extremes, to look for the real anchor of our own soul, then we see that first of all, we need to ask our Lord to increase our faith, strengthen our unity with Him, so that no evil can fill our, fill our soul, so that we are carriers of the Holy Spirit, because, as we know, the Lord God created man to be a temple of the Holy Spirit, because our bodies is a temple for, is a church for the Holy Spirit. And we have to remember it. Therefore, during our recovery, during Great Land, let us make our prayer the prayer of the Evangelical Father. I believe, Lord, but help my unbelief. We can say and we can ask God about the next. Lord, let my faith grow every day. I like these expressions like mosquito steps, small step. Let me share it with others, to the example of my life. Let parents pass this faith onto their children so that no evil will push them to extremes of life and prayer and fasting are the means by which we can be renewed in the Holy Spirit just as spring renews the face of the earth. And once again, if you have some doubts in your life, if you have some problems, if you would like to find some solve for your problem or problems, you can ask God. And then, I would like to find in the Gospel, here, that Jesus said, if you can, Everything is possible to a man who trusts. The boy's father immediately exclaimed, I do believe. Help my lack of trust. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be forever. Let us all say with our whole soul and with our whole mind, let us say, Lord.
Lord, have mercy. O Lord Almighty, God of our fathers, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy, we pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Mercy. Again, we pray for our Holy Father Francis, Pope of Rome, and for our most reverend Metropolitan William, for our God loving Bishop Gert, for those who serve and have served in this holy church, for our spiritual fathers, and for all our brothers and sisters in Christ. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our government and for all in the service of our country. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the people here present who awake to great and abundant mercy for those who show us mercy and for all Christians have the true faith. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. For you are merciful and loving God and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great mercy. We pray you here and have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the soul of the departed servant of God, Teresa, and that her every transgression, voluntary and involuntary, be forgiven. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the Lord God commit her soul to the place where the just repose. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For the mercy of God, for the kingdom of heaven, and for the remission of her sins, let us beseech Christ. The immortal King and our God. Grant this, O Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O God of spirits and of all flesh, who trampled death and broke the power of the devil and granted life to your world. Now grant rest, O Lord, to the soul of your departed servant Teresa in a place of light to join peace. Where there is no pain, sorrow, nor mourning as a good and loving God, forgive her sin committed by her in word or thought. Since there is no one who lives and does not sin, you will honor without sin your justice. Is eternal justice and your word is true. For you, Christ our God, are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your departed servant, Teresa. And we give glory to you with your eternal Father. And your all holy, good, and life creating spirit now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us humistically represent the cherubim and sing the Thrice holy hymn to the life creating Trinity. Now set aside all earthly cares.
Father Francis Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt, the entire priestly diaconal monastic order, our government, and all in the service of our country, and the ever-memorable founders and benefactors of this holy church. May the Lord God remember in his kingdom all you Christians of the true faith always now and ever and forever. Amen. That we may receive, receive the King of all invisibly Precious gifts placed before us, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord God Almighty, who alone are holy and receive sacrifice of praise from those who call upon you with their own heart, accept also the prayer of us sinners. Bring us to your holy altar and enable us to offer you gifts and spiritual sacrifice for our sins and for the people's failings. Make us worthy to find favor in your sight, that our sacrifice may be pleasing to you and that the good spirit of your grace may rest on us on these gifts here present and on all your people. Grant this through the mercies of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all-holy good and life-creating spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may profess the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. In wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, <laughs> creator of heaven and earth, of all things visible and, and invisible. invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, the only begotten, born of the Father before all ages, light I from light, true God, God from true. God, begotten, not made, one in essence with the Father, through whom all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered 
and was buried. He rose on the third the day, day according to the, the scriptures. scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the, the Father. And he and is coming again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom and will have no end. end. And, and in the, the Holy Spirit, Spirit the Lord, Lord, the creator of life, who proceeds from the Father. Together with the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He spoke through the prophets in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I profess one baptism for the remission of sin. I expect the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand right. Let us stand in all. Let us be attentive to offer the holy and offering peace. Mercy, peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord. It is proper and just. It is proper and just to sing to you, to bless you, to praise you, to thank you, to worship in every place of your dominion, for your God, ineffable, inconceivable, invisible, incomprehensible, ever existing, yet ever the same, you and the only begotten Son, your Holy Spirit. You brought us out of existence in the wing and again raised us up when we had fallen and left nothing undone until you brought us to heaven and gave us your kingdom to come. For all this we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit for all that we know and that we do not know for the manifest and hidden benefits bestowed on us. We also thank you for this liturgy which we are pleased to accept from our hands even though there stand before you thousands of archangels Tens of thousands of angels, cherubim and seraphim, six winged, many eyed, soaring aloft on their wings, singing, shouting, crying aloud, and singing the triumphal hymn. Holy, holy, holy. Blessed power, so loving and kind, Master, and say, Holy, are you and the Holy, you and your only begotten Son, and your Holy Spirit. Holy, are you and the Holy, and magnificent is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, so that everyone who believes in him should not perish but have life everlasting. He came and fulfilled the whole divine plan in our behalf on the night he was betrayed. Or rather, when he surrendered himself for the life of the world, he took bread into his holy and all pure and immaculate hands, gave thanks and blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take it, 
This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sin. Amen. Likewise, the two chalice after supper, saying, Drink of this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sin. Amen. Remember, remembering, therefore, this saving command, and all that has come to pass on our behalf, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection, on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the sitting at the right hand, and the second coming in glory, offering you your own from your own always and everywhere. We praise you, we bless you, we thank you, O Lord, and we praise you. Lord, we offer you this spiritual and bloody sacrifice to you, And make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. And that which is in this chalice the precious blood of your Christ. Amen. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. That for those who partake of them, they may bring about the spirit of vigilance, the remission of sins, the communion of your Holy Spirit, the fullness of the heavenly kingdom, and confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation. Moreover, we offer you this spiritual sacrifice for those departed in faith, the forefathers, fathers, patriots, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and for every just spirit brought to perfection in faith, especially for our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary. In you, O woman, full of grace, all creation rejoices, the angels in their ranks, and the human race. Sanctified temple, and rational paradise. Boast the virgins from who God took flesh and became a child while remaining God from before all time. He made your womb a throne setting it apart a room more spacious than the heavens in you a woman full of, of grace all creation rejoice Glory to you. Among the first, Lord, remember our Holy Father, Francis, Pope of Rome, our most reverend Metropolitan William, our God-loving Bishop Kurt. Preserve them for your holy churches in peace, safety, honor, and health for many years, as they faithfully impart the word of your truth. And remember all your people. Remember, Lord, this city in which we dwell and every city and community and the faithful living in them. Remember, Lord, those who travel by sea, air and land, the sick, the suffering, the captive, and grant them salvation. Remember, Lord, those who bring offerings and perform good deeds in your holy churches and those who remember the poor. And upon all of us, send down your mercies and grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored and magnificent name, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. May the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit.
Now that we have commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, that our God who loves us all may receive them on his holy heavenly and mystic altars and aroma of spiritual fragrance, and send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit, let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we be delivered from all affliction, wrath, and need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us, and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Let this whole day be perfect, holy, peaceful, and without sin. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide and guardian of our souls and bodies, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For the pardon and remission of our sins and offenses, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For what is good and beneficial to our souls and for peace in the whole world, let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord that we may spend the rest of our life in peace and repentance. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For a Christian, painless, unashamed, peaceful end of our life, and for a good account before the fearsome judgment seat of Christ. Let us beseech the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Asking for unity and the faith and for communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God, to you, O Lord, to you, O Master, who love us all, we commit our whole life and hope, and we implore, pray, and entreat you, make us worthy to partake with the good conscience of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this sacred and spiritual table. May they bring about the remission of sins, the pardon of transgressions, the communion of the Holy Spirit, the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, Confidence in you, not judgment or condemnation, and make us worthy, O Master, that we may with confidence and without condemnation there call you Father, God of heaven, and say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be, be done. done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Peace be to all. And to your spirit. Bow your heads to the Lord. To you. and all things, and the greatness of your mercy have brought all things out of existence into being. Look down from heaven, O Master, upon those who bow their heads to you, for they do not bow to flesh and blood, but to you, the awesome God. Therefore, O Master, may smooth for the good of all the path that lies ahead, according to the need of each. Sail with those who sail, travel with those who travel. You are those who are sick of physical souls and bodies. Through the grace the mercy and the loving kindness of your only begotten Son, with whom we are blessed, together with your all holy, good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. God be merciful to me, sir. God be merciful to me. Let us be attentive. Holy gift to holy people. One is holy, one is 
that you are truly Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, O Son of God, for I will not reveal your mysteries to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as a Judas, but like the thief I profess you. Remember me, O Lord, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, O Master, when you come in your kingdom. Remember me, a holy one, when you come in your kingdom. May the partaking of your holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for my judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. O Lord, I also believe and profess that this which I am about to receive is truly your most precious body and your life-giving blood, which I pray make me worthy to receive for the remission of all my sins and for life everlasting. Amen. O God, be merciful to me, a sinner. O God, cleanse me of my sins and have mercy on me. O Lord, forgive me, for I have sinned without number. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. From the heavens. Praise Him in the Praise Him in the highest. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Spirit of God and with faith. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. The Lord is God and has revealed himself to, to us. us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him. Yeah. 
her then. We have seen the true light. We have received the, the heavenly, heavenly spirit. spirit. We have found the true faith. And we worship the undivided Trinity. For the Trinity has saved us. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and forever. Amen. May our mouth be filled with your praise, O Lord, so that we may sing of your glory, sing of your glory. For you have deemed us worthy to partake of your holy, divine, immortal, pure and life-creating mysteries. Keep us in your holiness so that all the day long we may live according to your truth. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Arise, now that we have received the divine, holy, most pure, immortal, heavenly, life creating in us the mysteries of Christ. Let us worthily thank the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For you are our sanctification, and we give glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. O Christ our God, you support and restore all who have been attacked and overcome. For by taking flesh from the Holy Virgin Mary, you came to us without leaving the presence of the Father. You came into this world to lift our nature up from its fall among thieves who kill the Spirit. We were stripped of everlasting life and were wounded truly by them. Yet you deemed us worthy of care and restored us to our ancient fa fatherland. Master, heal the birds and bind up the wounds of our souls by your precious blood, poured out of for us and by your holy anointing given to us. Deliver us from the constant blows of unseen enemies who, in their desire to destroy your grace in us, hasten to rob us of faith and hope in you. In your love for mankind, do not deprive us of your healing salvation, so that after we are healed and cleansed, we may be made worthy of the community of the firstborn inscribed in heaven. For you are the healer of illnesses of both body and soul. You are our God, and we give glory to you, together with your eternal Father and your holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and forever. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever, now and forever, now and forever. The blessing of the Lord be upon you.
you through his grace and loving kindness always, now and ever and forever. Amen. Glory to you, Christ God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and, and to, to the, the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Now, now and, and ever and, and forever. forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give the blessing. May Christ, for through God, risen from the dead, have mercy on us and save us through the prayers of His most pure Mother, Petronice of this holy church, and of the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles of our holy Father John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, and through the prayers of the Saint John Climacus, and through the prayers of all the saints, for Christ is good. And he loves us all. Ah, amen. In blessed repose, grant the Lord eternal rest. We are the brothers' servant, resign, remember her forever. Eternal memory. Christ. Glory be forever. Dear brothers and sisters, uh, today at 3 o'clock, this parish will have Stations of the Cross, following by benediction. So I would like to invite everyone for this beautiful service, especially during the Lent. So we will have a lot of, I believe that, I hope that we will have a lot of guests from different parishes. So if, if we will have just a couple of us from this parish, so it will be a little bit uh, a shame for us. So, because a lot of people, they will come from, from this area and just a couple of us from this parish. So I would like to invite everyone, if you will have a time, uh, so at 3 o'clock, Stations of the Cross here, followed by benediction. Then the rest of the schedule, the same as um, every week. Uh, also, I would like to remind you that St. Mary's Pirohi sale on Friday, March, March 15. So as I, you will find the information of, uh, about this sale in the bulletin, but for the people who are looking at us through the online, so we'll have cooked and frozen pierogi. Cooked uh, $9 uh, a dozen, frozen pierogi $8 a dozen. Also, uh, we will have uh, for a sale homemade nut rolls. The price is 13 uh, I wanted to say 1300 13 dollar <laughs> roll, <laughs> a roll, call which uh, with orders for pierogi or rolls to General Manching. She will, um, she will give the, the rest of information. Also, in this this week uh, bulletin, we have some report about Bishop's appeal. So you can find that in this uh, in this bulletin. Also, Easter lilies are back. So you will, in the, in the vestibule, will find, you will find a special form for, for lilies. If you would like to donate them for, for the church, in memory of your relatives, friends, parents, uh, even your children, in memory or in honor or in memory, please uh, take that uh, form, fill it up, and send us to the parish. Uh, also, in the in the vestibule, you will find a uh, schedule. It look like this: schedule for um, Holy Week and Bright Week. 
um, you can you can have it you can take the schedule maybe some some time and some days will be changed maybe but 95 percent that we will have this this schedule for this year 95 percent but five percent is usually for different occasions you know some appointments or some if something happened so here is this also schedule for uh, starting from uh, Saturday, March 23rd, that is uh, Saturday of Lazarus, and then Holy Week and Bright Week. So you can have this schedule. Um, also in the vestibule on the bulletin, on bulletin board, you will find this, this information about Icon Workshop. A week before, that week before our anniversary, we will have Icon Workshop like last, last year. The, the, every, everything you will find here on this uh, announcement sheet. But uh, what different be between last year Icon Workshop and this year Icon Workshop? This year we will paint uh, the, uh, we are planning for the Icon Mother of God because of we will have anniversary and this church is their mission of, our, of uh, the Theotokos, Mother of God. And uh, after this icon workshop, the Most Reverend Bishop uh, Kurt, he will, he will bless these icons during that after liturgy um, on uh, August 25th. So this is also, I think that this is good uh, uh, gift for us and we can keep this, this icon uh, at home. The also, the rest of information about price, about contact number, you will find also in this um, advertisement. If you have some question or some proposal, just feel free to ask me after liturgy. And I think that that's it for today. May God bless everyone, and I wish everyone blessed and a good week. To all people here present, and to all our parishioners, grant the Lord many blessed years. God grant us many years. God grant us many years. God grant us many blessed years. Yeah.